Uh, Bluing all over merger. I tie them mostly in, uh, well, I tie them in 18 to 20. It depends on how big the, the mergers are. And it's nothing more than a little bit of CDC and thread dubbing. Okay. Now, you could use a number of things for the tailing. Since I have the feathers out, I just take some CDC and going to figure out where you're uh, the where you're going to tie the CDC to pull over and you're going to tie a body a dub a body up to that point a nice tapered so put some dubbing on this baby would be easy if they had blue wing olives this big, wouldn't it? That might be enough. Maybe. I always a lot of commercial flies you buy and see, they don't, they just have kind of flat, straight bodies. And while it may or may not make a difference, I like to tie in a nice taper on all of them. I think they look better, and I truly believe they fish better. Uh, you know, I, I could be wrong. I'm going to do it anyway. I think a fly that looks right will probably fish right. Now, we're going to take, in this case with a big fly, we're going to carefully pair up two CDC feathers with the same, with the curve going the same way. We're going to turn it upside down so you got the concave surface up and pin it down. Where's that fly? Oh, there it is. Let's make sure I don't do anything stupid. I've been known to. Okay, now we're going to dub the thorax so it's a little bit bigger and bulgier, just like the real fly. I don't mean the thorax, I mean the abdomen. Nope, thorax. <laughs> Had it right the first time. That should stick to my guns. So, this will. home, I won't know how to tie a regular size one. Because what you want is you want a, a bulge so that uh, the CDC, when you pull it forward, forms a dome. It's uh, much more prominent so you can see it and it'll float better. Now stop when you do this, stop 
behind the hook eye far enough so you have some room to work with the CDC. Now all we're going to do is pull this forward. Now don't put too much pressure on it. Take your left hand and snug it down. You don't need to pull that super tight. Okay. About three wraps. As usual, you have some fluffy stuff you don't want. And then pull up, snip it close. And tie down. There you go. And this is like any other. CDC fly, except in this case, you want it floating really flush, not, not high and dry. So your, your goal is just to keep it on the surface film so you can see it. You can also fish it behind it dry so you don't have to worry about where it is so much. You, know, you just wait until things straighten out and, oh, it's a fish. But, sorry camera, let's set up for the hooks. But as you can see, when, once, you dust, once you dust this part, it, it's like a little bitty beacon for quite a while. And take